according to law. Thank you very much, sir. I'm sorry to have taken up so much of your time. Not at all. Good day, gentlemen. Thank you, sir. to get worried. After all, four days is a long time. I had a lot to do. It's that Milne case, isn't it? Yeah. Well, stay out of it, Charles. Please stay out of it. How's Paula? Have you told her? Don't worry. She doesn't know anything. And if you use your head and stay out of it, she'll never have to know. I saw the governor today, Bonnie. Milne hasn't a chance. Oh, I'm sorry. No, really, Charles, I am sorry. Anyway, you'll know you did everything you could. No, not everything. I don't like the sound of that. If you mean what I think There's you do... There's no other way, Bonnie. I've got to give myself up. Oh, you must be insane. Insane? I wouldn't have Milne on my conscience. <laughs> Your conscience. But he has a wife, Bonnie, and a little seven-year-old daughter. You can't imagine what all this is doing to them. But, Charles, you have your own family to think about. Oh, I'm not important, but Paula is. In a few days, she's going to be married to a fine boy from a wonderful family. If you do anything to wreck that now, she'll... Well, she'll hate you the rest of her life. Don't you think I have a right to decide that? Paula. Paula, how long have you been standing there? Just long enough, I'm afraid. Dad, you killed that old man. Paula, listen to me. You, you've got to forget everything you heard in that room right now. I, it never happened. Do you understand? Nothing has changed. Ever since I was a little girl, I've looked up to Dad as the kind of man I'd marry someday. And I've let you down, Paula. No. And I don't think you ever will. Why do you hear what she says? You've got to give up this insane idea. Is that what you want, Paula? I'm sorry, Dad. Only you can make that decision. The only defense in the extradition hearing for Albert Milne was an outright plea for mercy. This meant a long procession of character witnesses, one after the other. Well, like I said, I, I've known the Milneys for eight, maybe nine years, ever since they moved into the neighborhood. And in all this time, would you say that Albert Milne's reputation has been good? All I know is you couldn't ask for a better friend or neighbor. I don't care what they say he's done. It just wouldn't be right to send a fine man like this to prison. Mr. Commissioner, how much longer must we listen to all of this? Twenty witnesses have stated again and again that Albert Milne is a good husband and a kind father, and that he's done many fine things for the community. Hundreds of good citizens have signed petitions stating the very same thing. Now, my state is willing to admit all of that, but that's not the point of this hearing. In my state, he killed a man and injured another, a prison guard, escaping the punishment he deserves. Now, we want him back, and we want him now. But what good would it do? He's been punished enough. For over 15 years, he's been afraid. He's never stopped being afraid. Isn't that enough punishment? Please, Mrs. Milne, we'll have no more outbursts like this. I think we can agree that the arguments, both for and against extradition, have been thoroughly explored. Unless you have any further testimony. No. Then if there are no objections, we'll consider this hearing adjourned, pending a decision. Mr. Commissioner. I'd like to testify. I don't think it would do any good. But you're wrong. It's very important. Permission granted. This man was convicted of a crime that he didn't do. Because the real criminal kept silent. This was a hit and run case in more ways than one, Mr. Commissioner. Because the driver of that car ran away and left. Left Albert Melney, a victim of circumstantial evidence, to face the consequences. I know this to be true because after 15 long years, I want to confess, I was that man. As a result of the testimony of Charles Landis, the extradition warrant against Albert Milne was denied and steps taken to secure a full pardon. As for Landis, the statute of limitations for his crime had expired. His punishment came from his fellow man. Now, the case you have just seen was brought to a fair and just conclusion through the efforts of a public defender. <laughs>